reading your comments with Sir Rays. Love to see you back. Video was great. Nice job getting all A's. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It was definitely a very tough semester for me, and I had to put a lot of time into studying because of how challenging the classes was, but it was very, very good to come out of the semester with all A's, and it is, it is good to be back as well. I hate it, though, because I had three videos prepared and recorded from the last time my last video came up with the whole Where Did Sir Ray's Go video, but then different things happened with it, like one of the videos was corrupted, the other two videos was in the wrong format and I couldn't figure out how to convert it from one format to another so I lost three great videos of different indie games I was gonna play so I'll just like what do I want to do now I was just like okay let's go ahead and do a reading your comments video because I've never done something like this before and I'm super excited to uh, do a reading your comments video like this so yeah good good comment can't wait to see more of the treasure chest of doom man i i love the treasure chest of doom i need my own treasure chest here in the background of all my other stuff in case you guys didn't notice i have a lot of cool stuff in the background now like i have a periodic table right there because i'm a huge nerd captain america shield the skyrim map something about pac-man and the ghost there and a star trek poster there in the background so you might see more stuff added in the background as we go unless i just decide to get a green screen and just cover all that up but i don't know what do you guys think do you guys like the actual posters in the background or do you think it would be cooler for me to have like a green screen in the background be sure to let me know but yes the church of chess of doom Nice video. I like how the twist streams are going so far, and the idea of keeping highlights here is really good. I know this is not really channel related, but me and the Discord crew are waiting for you for some D&D &D and awesome bots. Oh, totally, man. I have been enjoying the whole Twitch streaming as well, which I need to start streaming a little bit more because it's I really have been enjoying the streaming side of things because I feel like I can connect better with a whole bunch of people and I'm able to play games for longer periods of time like Skyrim or Overwatch or whatever else I feel like playing and it's harder to upload long long videos of games because there's so many playthroughs of like Skyrim and Overwatch already so it's hard to put like a two hour clip on YouTube because most people won't go to YouTube to watch a two hour video I guess you can say most people go to YouTube to watch like a good 10 minute video of something funny or enjoyable or you're going to like research on something or figure out how to fix something so it's harder to do longer videos on YouTube so I've really enjoyed the whole twitch side of things and totally man uh, I've been wanting to play more D&D in my life anyways I already have one game that I've been playing a lot and I've been enjoying it and I haven't played awesome knots in a little bit so I might have to hit you up on that soon are you still a part of SGA that is a question I get quite a lot because I was a member of the Small Games Alliance whenever it first came out, but no, I'm no longer a part of the SGA. I went ahead and served my two-year uh, contract like the contract did, and after that was done, I went ahead and left so that way I could stay in good standards with the SGA, I guess. Uh, I enjoyed my time and I learned a lot of stuff with the Small Games Alliance, it just, you know, it's... It's not really what I want out of a partnership anymore, I guess you can say. And things have kind of slowed down with the whole SGA side of things. So, it's just time to move on, I guess you can say. Like, it was fun, but I'm sure that there's better stuff for me out there in the world of the YouTubes and Twitch. I hope that that answers your question, because I know that there was a lot of confusion with the whole SGA side of things. Uh, not with me, of course, but like the actual background of the SGA, which kind of sucks to see it all go away, but I understand that people were busy and new projects come along. It just kind of sucks how it all ended just abruptly without any type of warning. But again, I'm still friends with a lot of people from the SGA, so yeah. I hated how I say so yeah at the end of all of my statements. Like, it, that's one thing that annoys me, but let's move on to the next question. Are you ever going to make another episode of the podcast? I assume that you're talking about the SGA podcast that myself and Samurai and Taggett made. Uh, it was a lot of fun while it lasted, but none of us are a part of the SGA anymore. And I know that BJ has been busy with work and school and also he hasn't been on the whole YouTube side of things for a little bit. And 
Well, I don't know. I, I might do a podcast in the future. Just at this moment, I'm not really looking to make a podcast, I guess you can say. But it might be something I do in the future. Just whenever I get a little bit more time to plan out a podcast and do that weekly. Because I already have quite a few things on my plate as it is. Not saying that I don't enjoy podcasts. Because I would love to be a part of a podcast. Just at this moment... No, uh, there's probably not going to be another episode of the SGA podcast. Might be other podcasts in the future, but I guess we'll have to tune in to see later. Are you ever planning on doing vlogs for your channel? Well, you see, I've always enjoyed vlogs. I just, I don't even know what I would vlog about. Like, if I went out to, like, uh, to conventions or if I was actually doing exciting stuff, I probably would. But my life isn't that exciting outside of the YouTube thing. I mean, I can do a few things. Hey y'all, I'm making a vlog with my dog Shadow. Say hi Shadow, say hi Shadow. Hi Shadow, how are you doing? Oh yeah, you're a good boy, yes you are. Hey y'all, I'm making a vlog about me watching TV, yeah. My TV's right in front of me, I'm watching American Ninja Warrior right now and it's so cool, yeah. And I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Hey y'all, I'm making a vlog about this apple because this is a really, really cool looking apple. Just the way it's shaped and it has like a bruise down here. I'm probably going to eat it here in a second, so give me a second. Hey y'all, I'm making a vlog about me walking down the stairs. I hope that I make it. Oh, I'm there. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, okay. Maybe doing some vlogs would be fun, uh, but we'll have to see. Maybe if I'm just feeling like making a vlog, I'll make a vlog because I am interested in possibly doing vlogs on the channel eventually. Just at this moment, maybe I guess we have to see if I'm going to a con or if I'm like just doing something fun, I might do a vlog on that, but we will see. Are you planning on doing YouTube for a living? Do you plan on doing anything new for your channel besides the norm? At this moment, no, I'm not really planning on doing YouTube for a living. It, at this point here, I've realized that if you try to make something like this a job, then you're going to have an absolute horrible time doing it. If you truly want to do YouTube or if you truly want to do Twitch, you got to go ahead and start out with the instinct of, I'm just doing this to have fun because if you jump right into it, just like, yeah, I want to make as much money as possible. I want this to be my full-time job. You're going to get burnt out on it within like the first six weeks because A, you won't get anyone to watch you or two. I just said A, and then two, look at me, I'm so smart. Number two is, you're just gonna get burned out really, really quickly, and, well, I don't want that to happen, so... I'm not planning on it to become a full-time job. If that happens, then I'm not gonna say no, of course, but at this moment, no, I'm not gonna try to itch for it to become my full-time job. And, do you plan on doing anything new for your channel? Well, I have a few ideas, but I... I still have to plan them out and I really can't say what they are yet. Hopefully they end up working out, so if they do, you guys will see it eventually, but yeah. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. And also it depends on how the norm goes on YouTube because YouTube has an up and down and up and down. Like at this point here, for some reason, fidget spinners is still the big thing in on YouTube. So I don't really want to fall into that norm, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see uh, what else will be new on this channel eventually. Just join the Discord! Hey, I appreciate it. In case you guys didn't know, we do have a Discord, so be sure to join the Discord so that way I can talk with you guys. And be sh uh, talk in there as well because I can start conversations, but it's cool to see other people talking in the Discord as well, so join, please. I think the lighting in the face cam could be better, just a cheap desktop lamp would be pretty good fix, but other than that, awesome video, keep it up. Oh yeah, that's definitely something that I uh, have added on to my setup. Now I have two lamps, one right here and one right here, both going right towards me, which you can kind of see with the shadow, how I have two different lights there, but it's definitely helped out because with the lights off, I'm blue! It's definitely not a good setup with my lights off, so I have to keep it on so that way everything looks decent. I don't know why. Oh, I know why it's blue, because the wall I'm facing is blue, and these walls here are white for some reason. So, I guess I turn blue whenever all the lights are off. Hey, I mean, if I ever want to be blue, then this is a perfect thing for me, but, you know, I kind of like my lights on, so I'm going to turn them back on. <laughs> Alright, speed round. Let's do this. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have five pets. I have two dogs and three cats. I have a big family, so we have to have a lot of pets. 
Why did you start YouTube? I started YouTube because I saw a whole bunch of other YouTubers posting videos and I was just like, you know what, that seems like a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and start posting videos as well and it's been a blast. What got you into Minecraft? Uh, my old college roommate played it all the time and he gave me a free trial of the game for me to try out and I thought it was a dumb game so I did not play it and then I started playing it and then I fell in love with it and then the next year we played Minecraft all the time whenever we should have been studying. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have uh, three different siblings. Uh, one of them that you guys have actually seen in a video way back when. But yeah, I have three siblings. Alright, a few more questions. Let's do it. Favorite game of all time? Oh man, that is a tough one. For me, it is probably Pokemon Emerald. That was one game that I played all the time in my childhood. It's definitely a game that I would play over and over again, mostly because I had the ruby and emerald uh, gems and everything in there, and I loved the generation. Blazer Cannon and Trico, favorite ones from that generation. So, yeah, definitely Pokemon Emerald. Best OST in a game. Ooh, that definitely goes to Skyrim. Skyrim, hands down. I love the music in Skyrim and, and all the other Elder Scrolls games. So, they have an amazing, amazing uh, OST. And maybe the Halo games are a little bit behind as well because the Halo games do have some pretty good music in it as well. What type of music do you listen to? Anything besides country and rap, uh, I'm not the biggest country fan because most of the time it's just about trucks and I know that there are some good country songs and there's some good rap songs so I'm not saying that I don't listen to it all the time, it's just if I was to choose between most music and country and rap, most music would definitely end up winning. Any plans for the future outside of YouTube? Mm, well, I'm almost done with my teaching degree, so that can be something, but outside of YouTube, I've been playing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, and that has been a lot of fun, and just hanging out with people, meet, um, meeting new people, you know, just the usual stuff, just keep on doing what I'm doing and meet new people. And that's going to go on and wrap up this video. This was a lot of fun. This was truly my first reading your comments. And most of the time I've done hashtag ask raise, But I feel like reading your comments is a better idea for uh, trying to answer questions. Because I can answer questions and I can answer just random comments that people made. And I can just do whatever I want. I feel like I have more flexibility with a reading your comments. And plus I don't have to do a setup video for a question and answer. I can just choose random questions. Uh, random comments that I see in different videos and just plug it into the uh, into the video. I hope that I have more next time and just these were the best I've had within the past few months so I'll go ahead and do another reading your comments video soon but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here so thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you guys have enjoyed if you did be sure to smack that like button for me thank you guys so so much for the support do the dang thing and I will see you guys in the next video adios